For most of his 30-year career, neuroscientist Bill Klein, like many of his colleagues, did not believe Alzheimer's had anything to do with diabetes. I told students who were saying that there might be a connection between diabetes and Alzheimer's disease that it just wasn't the case. But research showing that the brains of Alzheimer's patients are insulin resistant has changed his opinion. Alzheimer's is uh, a problem in using insulin in the brain, and this is uh, a brain-specific form of diabetes. In normal brains, insulin fits into sites on cells called receptors, triggering a series of events that allow memories to form. But in people with Alzheimer's, toxic proteins called addles build up. Using rat brain cells in the lab, Klein's team studied the effect of the addles on the receptors. They discovered that these addles attached near the insulin receptors, causing them to disappear. So even if there's insulin around now, the receptor isn't there to respond to it, and we think that's very crucial in blocking memory in Alzheimer's disease. Klein says the evidence is strong enough to suggest that Alzheimer's might be a type 3 diabetes. He thinks modifying current diabetes drugs for delivery to the brain could bring new treatments for Alzheimer's. Meanwhile, he says it's possible that regular exercise and staying lean, the recipe for keeping diabetes at bay, may also work for Alzheimer's. I'm Sunita Reed.